Good evening and welcome to The Leather Journey. Tonight we're going to continue our playlist on collars and we're going to specifically look at different types of fasteners or ways that collars are fastened, uh, both for the more fashionable type of collars and for play. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get into why certain types of, of fasteners uh, uh, are better for certain kinds of situ settings, but I'm gonna to try to come up close so you can see these up close. One very common type of closure is just a big oversized snap. And you can see this particular collar wasn't custom made, but it was made with two different snaps and then a piece of leather that would make it even further adjustable uh, so this was, was made to build a VIN and, and fit a large spectrum of audience, uh, or a large number of, of people by, uh, by waterhole leather. Bucket waterhole leather came up with that design, but the concept of using a snap to close, uh, the collar is pretty common and, uh, an inexpensive way to go. Uh, there, it's easy to take on and take off uh, if you just have a snap. Uh, but collars typically uh, come with a post style. I don't know if you can see that. There's a post that sticks up. It has a hole in it, and the hole is big enough to accommodate a small padlock, like a luggage size uh, padlock. This particular lock came from Ace Hardware. Uh, so that's one type. Then another type of closure is uh, a roller buckle. It's called a roller, this is a locking roller buckle, so it actually has a hole that a padlock can be put through that would lock that and keep that buckle from being able to be opened. Uh, this particular one is an example of a roller buckle that doesn't have, that's not locking. So it could be opened and closed. This one, once the padlock is in place, the collar's not going anywhere unless the, the key holder to the padlock wants the collar removed. Then this type is a little more of a fashion statement, but uh, it's, a collar that has two loops and the actual closure or the clasp is done uh, with a type of lock or, or device. But you could, you wouldn't have to use a lock. I mean, you could use uh, anything that would slip through there and, uh, and hold it together. I could use a simple uh, bolt and nut to hold that collar together. There are other types of collars that are designed to be worn 24 seven and only be able to be removed by the sir or the ma'am or the master or mistress. I don't have an example of that type of closure. Uh, typically that type of collar would require a special wrench that you couldn't just find at a hardware store. Uh, but I don't have an example like that to show you, but those are the probably the most common kinds of closures. My own personal favorite is a locking roller buckle and, um, and a padlock that would go through it. As always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.